Jezebel Plaza. All units to our 10 10, please report in for potential assignment. Long bridge. I should use my grapnel accelerator. I hope you'll try to keep a low profile tonight, sir. Trust me, I'll take out those assassins before they even know I'm there. It's not just that. If some curious child looks out to see who's pattering across their rooftop, they'll expect Santa Claus, not a black-clad bat creature. I don't patter. <sighs> Looks like I'm the first one here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> 
So, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh wait, I already know. Now let's see if you've been naughty or... Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. Penguin. I don't know. Where is he? I swear. Damn. Wake up. What happened? <laughs> Time to talk. Where's Cobblepot? Let me go! If you insist. Please, stop! Stop! I'll call him. I'll tell you anything you want to know, please! Too late. I already have what I need. No! Crazy. You're freaking crazy! If I can read this SIM card, I may be able to locate Penguin. Alfred, I'm getting interference on my comm systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's from the nearby GCR tower. It's the same signal jamming the Batwing's auto nerve systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the Penguin. Potential assignment incoming. Keep this channel open. Can't do it then. I'm looking forward to watching you fail. 
Ugh, typical. I mean, why apply cognitive resources to a problem when you can just throw crap at it? You know, if you had asked nicely, I'd have opened it for you. Congratulations are in order. Maybe you're not as stupid as I've been led to believe. Why are you doing this, Enigma? Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Now I can access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. Penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position. Find the next comm station, the then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Then mess with our shipment, like saving his own ass. So next time. You want to make up a story? You better hope the person you're telling it to is dumber than you are. Oh wait, that's right. There ain't no one dumber than you. Mr. Cobblepot, I swear it was the bat. He dropped Ricky off the roof of the clock tower straight into the Christmas tree. I don't care what you think you saw. If you're not back here with my money in the next ten minutes, I'll cut your damn eyeballs out. And then you won't have to worry about seeing nothing ever again. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Cobblepot. I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot.
Attention available units, we've got a call of a violent crime. Still waiting on location. Listen up. I know I ought to cancel our annual boiler deck fights after what happened tonight at Jezebel Plaza. But just there to show you, you are, what a nice guy I am, offer. the fights are still on. So get yourself down to the ship right now if you want in on this. Penguin's been hiding out on an old ship. No wonder he's been so hard to find. Wait for laggers. Snipers down silently to proceed.
working on Christmas Eve. I should be at home in bed with us. <laughs> Or something? Oh man, you think he's gonna come looking for this? Batman. Looks like someone brought a bat to a knife fight. Where's my fish case? Fighting tournament. That's where I need to go. Bats on the attack! My kind of eye! You can't run from me! I'm on it!
Wake on! Oh, the rest of you losing will be. You're gonna have to embarrass yourselves with all. God knows you can do it. I've got some business to take care of in the office, and I don't want to be disturbed. Tracy will be letting the fight till I get back. Sounds like Penguin will be in his office. Tracy should know where that is. I'll make her talk.
Boys, boys, get him out of here. here. I don't, I don't think I'm any of the gear. It's worth some money. money.
Assistance must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office.
security room. herself a dry slap she has that better be lip gloss you're reaching for oi you can't do this i'm claustrophobic i am
Shiny. One more word. <laughs> What do you want? I didn't do nothing. Who's your boss? What does Penguin want with him? Alberto Falcone. But I got no idea what Penguin wants with him, I swear. Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Tried to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. No, 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 please! <laughs> <laughs> Now you best listen, Falcone. Cause this is the last time I'll ask. What are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I want to hear. You idiots, Bennett! Please! Don't hurt me! It's you! Kill his arse, you numpty prat! Don't stand here! Kill him! We're gonna show him! Punch him in the face! Are you waiting for a personal invitation? Kill him, you bloody white guys! Come on now! Remind me why I made you want it! Kick his ass, you jumping crack! Now hold on! Hold on a bloody minute! I ain't seen your act! I ain't done nothing you not done! Black Mask, put a bounty on my head. Where is he? I don't keep tabs on him in Giza with a grudge. You're not a popular bloke in this town. You're running out of time. Wait, wait. <coughs> Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his same house. But, or Black Mask. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. <laughs> Yeah. 
It appears the game is over before it even begins. I'm not playing games, Slade. Tell me where I can find Black Mask. I expect you'll be worth every penny of that 50 million. I know you saw it over, yet you did you Batman. Feel free to let yourself out. <laughs> I can't let Penguin get away. There's more I need to ask him.
to get up to that balcony. The device Deathstroke was using should do the trick. I should use the device I took from Deathstroke. Alfred, get GCPD to take a look at the final offer. More to Dixon Docks. They'll find Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them. Along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous tip? Will do, sir. Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am Anarchy, voice of the people, here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. I was hoping to get a minute of your time. See, I've got a story to tell you about crime and violence, greed and vengeance. But it's also a story of redemption, of second chances, of change. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Hey, miss! Over here! Whoa, whoa, easy now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you.
available homicide unit, please respond to 187 in the Bowery. Officers on scene report victim appears to have fallen from a nearby building. Is that what I think it is? Take that freak out! Wins equal. There's trouble. <laughs> you will, sir. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop... Investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. The SWAT guys. Shut them down to shut them up. Otherwise, we'll never be free.
I've planted three bombs. Right, you know, cops don't care about us. We'd be better off without them. But you already knew that, didn't you? you did about the places I targeted, you spared them. Sorry to disappoint you. Disappoint me? Not at all. Come on down to the courthouse so we can continue Gotham's trial.
Julio, what's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. I've planned... I'm so glad you came. It's an honor, really. There's so much for us to discuss. What do you want? I'd like to propose an alliance. I think the two of us could accomplish great things together. I don't work with criminals. You need to turn yourself in. Tell you what. I'll turn myself in as soon as you do the same. But you don't consider yourself a criminal, do you? The suit, the gadgets, the sense of entitlement. Just another rich kid atoning for his fiscal sins. Such a shame. You're either with us or against us!
quite. This will be brutal. I won't let you go. Let's make an example out of them. Kid. So, what does it matter? I wanted to make a difference. I thought you'd feel the same. I do, but not like this. A lot of innocent people almost died tonight because of you. Innocent? They watched as Gotham went to hell and didn't do a thing! They're just afraid. No, they're weak! And so are you. The police are on their way. You ever wonder how things got to be so bad here? I do. All the time. See, I don't think men like Roman Sionis or Oswald Cobblepot are responsible. They're just a reflection of our apathy, our greed, our fear. We look the other way when things turn sour, bury ourselves in our jobs, consume propaganda masquerading as entertainment. The message is always the same. Don't think, don't question. And what becomes of a society that's given up? It rots. Fills up with liars, cheaters, and thugs. Uptown and downtown. The suit in the penthouse is no better than the guy selling drugs in the corner. They're both doing whatever it takes to get ahead. Never mind the cost. Fidelity. Once upon a time, that's what defines society. People coming together in pursuit of common cause. To care for each other. To protect and provide. We took shelter from the darkness and the things that roamed it. Community meant progress. But now, it's all backwards. We worship at the altar of competition. We build fortresses around ourselves. We fight, we betray. We have become the things we feared. You keep cleaning up after everyone, Batman, and no one's going to learn to take care of themselves. The ones that don't hate you, they'll start to rely on you, depend on you. And if something happens to you, if you get old or bored or die, then what? Or do you not consider the world that revolves around you? You're a hypocrite, running around dispensing justice, telling people what they can and can't do. You're ensuring Gotham's freedom, provided it conforms to your twisted view. Whatever pleases the bad, that it? You're not a hero. You're a despot. You don't enforce justice. You suppress it. There's a way to make this work. To show you that we share the same goals. 
Maybe I took things too far with the bombs and the threats. I, I can learn from that. I mean, you could be a mentor to me. And maybe, well, maybe I can teach you something too. Because I think you're so busy playing hero, you've forgotten what it's like for the rest of us. We're not all as strong as you. We don't have the fancy gadgets, the, the strength, the skill. But, but, but maybe that's the problem. You've gotten so used to the power, you think you're better than everyone. Above reproach. Is that it then? We're not as good as you? You know what? I take it back. I don't want to work with you. You don't have anything to offer. I think I figured it out. You didn't take me down because I broke the law. 